Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. So yesterday in the extra yesterday's lecture series, we have seen about the question paper under introduction of Internet of Things, BET CKH 105. Today we will be seeing about BET CKH 205. So we will be discussing, this is the previous year question. So we will be discussing about the marks split up and the scheme for the particular question. So come Coming under module 1, explain broad, broad categories of computer network based on network reachability. Explain various networking components of IoT. Differentiate between IoT and M2M. Yes, so these are the different questions that is asked in module 1 which carries 776. So split up will be totally for 20 marks for module 1, module 2, 20, module 3, 20, module 4 and 5. 2020. So every module will have a mark of weightage of 20. So now here when you see uh, the first uh, question, first set of question is over. So explain communication between two hosts following TCP IP suit with neat block diagram. Discuss different IoT planes along with various enabling technologies of IoT. Classifying the network types based on physical topology. So if suppose, uh, let us say that if there is a question telling a question stating with example, then you have to more concentrate on the example that you give, some real-time example, which is really uh, uh, happening in the real-time world. Or if it is with a neat diagram, then you concentrate more on the diagram parts because only through that diagram parts you are going to take out your the theory part. So you have to be very careful while doing your diagram part and the uh, content which we are writing in with examples right so next the scheme so computer networks so you will be stating what is computer networks what is the reachability so which will be carrying one marks and the explanation of each of the networks in detail about the range of coverages what all the technologies that is used in that particular network a topology and what are the applications all those will carry totally six marks so totally this is of seven marks so next question was about the iot various iot components so you will be uh, drawing the typical iot network ecosystem so complete networking components with the IO, with connected with the iot all those diagram you will be drawing which carries one marks because it is a very small diagram you will be showing it so it is one marks and explanation for each of the components that you have represented in your diagram like function of iot node what is router what is lan van gateway and iot proxy all these in detail when you explain it totally carries six marks so each of iot node when you explain it carries one mark so likewise when you explain all these six things then you will be having six marks so six plus one so totally seven marks Finally, the C question was differentiation between IoT and M2M. So when you are writing differentiation, so the mark split up will be like if it is for six marks, it is not that you have to write it only or write only six points. It is at least necessary for you to write around seven to eight points. Okay, so now how you will write is you will first differentiate. You will tell the definition of what is M2M and what is IoT. Then you will come for working of M2M and IoT. Sorry. Uh, so M2M and IoT. And then there will be a what, what is the interaction that is taking place between devices when there is M2M or IoT. And what are all the application that comes under M2M and IoT. Like, like this around 6 to 7 points and you highlight, you will have 6 marks. Next. Second A, 2A question was block diagram of communication models that is TCP IP suit. So this is the block diagram for TCP IP suit where you will have uh, two host that is sender and receiver from you, where you will be representing each of the layers and uh, through which the link layer and internet layer is functioning. So this is nothing but your TCP IP protocol suit diagram. So diagram you may have around uh, two marks or three marks and then explanation of all the layers link layer internet layer transport layer physical layer and application layer so when you determine describe all these data then totally you will carry four marks right so, so to be question is you, you you have to draw the diagram that is various planes of iot 
So you will be explaining the technologies involved in it. So these are the planes of IoT where the diagram carries three marks and explanation of all these parts carries four marks. Okay, so totally it is of seven marks. And 2C is nothing but the physical topologies you have to be explaining. So you will be listing down what is the physical topo topologies that is star, mesh, bus and ring. So once you list it down, you have to draw those diagrams of the network and then start explaining each of the network with examples. So totally it carries six marks. So coming into the module two, outline simple sensing operation in IoT node with its functional block. Define sensor and explain characteristics of sensor. Compare mechanical, soft and shape memory based actuators. So here in sensing operation of IoT, you will be drawing the functional blocks and explaining the sensing operation. And here you will be defining the sensor and explaining what are all the characteristics that is needed to select a sensor or how the sensor should work. And here you will be uh, comparing the different actuators that is mentioned. So totally this carries 20 marks, all three questions together. And in our choices, you have different categories of sensor based on sensing environment. So based on the sensing environment, what are all the cat categories of sensor available? And uh, the uh, basic differences between transducer sensors and actuator. So you will be determining based on availability, based on power rating, based on efficiency, right? So with need diagram, explain working mechanism of actuator. So completely you will be explaining what is actuators, how it has been formed, where it is used, all those you will be explaining. So coming into the scheme, so sensing operations, so for first for that you will be drawing the block diagram with processors, number of sensors available, what is the actuator. So the complete framework you will be drawing, that is the functional block of IoT nodes, which carries two marks. And when you describe all these blocks in detail it is of four marks and when you explain the sensing operation in iot node then it is for two marks right so, so totally it is of eight marks 3b is definition of sensor once the definition of sensor you determine you you will get two marks and you will be determining the characteristics necessary for the sensor so it carries the rest of the marks and 3c it is comparison between different actuators. So how you have to compare is you uh, make sure that at least uh, four to five criteria you are comparing with its features. So when you have four to five criteria comparing each other, then the total six marks will be provided for you. And 4A question was classification of sensing based on the sensing environment. So you have the type scalar hybrid, virtual, multimedia. So these are the types of classification. So list down these classification and explain each of the classification with diagrams and examples. So totally it carries eight marks. And 4B is difference between transducer sensor. That is you will be de determining the difference between the transducer sensors and actuators. Maybe five to six points if you list down, then it totally carries six marks. 4C, 4C is actuation mechanism, how the actuation mechanism is done. So, so you have to draw this block diagram which carries 4 marks and explanation of each of the blocks in detail carries another 2 marks. So totally it is 6 marks. Coming into module 3, differentiate between structured and unstructured data. Explain different data offloading strategies with location and decision making. Dis Discuss with D diagram event detection using off-site remote sensing that is processing topologies. So this is one or choice question and the other or choice is explain on-site processing topology, various processing topologies and discuss the importance of data processing in IoT and offloading, offload decision making approaches. So entering into the scheme, you can see uh, the difference between the structured and unstructured data may be to five to six points. If you write, you may have five marks. So uh, generally five to six point covers what is structured data and what is unstructured data, why you use unstructured and structured data. For example, which all uh, examples you can give examples which uses structured data uh, and unstructured data. And 5B is processing of data with offloading. Offloading strategies, you can determine what are all the offloading strategies that is available and explain all those in detail. So totally carries six marks. And 5C is 
offsite remote processing so you, you will be determining what is event detection using offsite remote processing when you describe that that is for 3 marks and with diagram when you de uh, determine sensor sensor node internet and remote processing it is of 2 marks and 6a question was explanation on on site processing topology so when you describe what is on site processing topology how it is done then it is for 3 marks and with diagram when you explain what is sensor sensor node on site processes then it is 2 marks so totally 5 marks 6b is you will be determining the various topologies that is on site and off site where off site is further divided as remote and collaborator so when you explain all these in detail with real time examples then it totally carries 9 marks and here importance of processing of data in iot so you will be determining what are all the importance points like decision making approach naive bargain based approach all these approaches in detail with example it carries 5 marks and in module 4 what is virtualization and explain its different types differentiate between network you network based commute a computing and cloud computing explain the architecture of sensor cloud platform and the other part consists of components of agricultural iot what is service level agreement and its importance and explain how agriculture iot help in efficient distribution of water in agriculture field this is another set of question in module 4 so coming into what is ritualization so definition carries two marks and the types of ritualization you have to list it down and write it in detail which carries 4 marks and networking that is uh, uh, differentiation between network computing and cloud computing you can uh, give a comparison like first you can put up with the definition then with features then with application so like that when you frame it you will get it first totally 6 marks and architecture of sensor cloud platform so you will be first drawing the diagram architecture diagram which carries two marks and after that you will be completely determining about the uh, diagram that is explanation of the diagram that carries six mark so totally it is eight marks 8a you will be explaining the components that is available in the agricultural iot in last question paper also we saw the same question for eight marks here it is for six marks so based on that you will be listing down the components in the form of diagram which carries two marks and the explanation carries four marks 8b service level agreement so you will be writing what is service level agreements where service level agreement is used and then that carries one mark and importance of uh, service level agreements you will be writing which is which contains two marks and the matrices of sla so availability response time portability all those you will list it down and explain completely which carries three marks 8c architectural diagram you have to draw for the smart irrigation system so when you draw the diagram it is for five marks and explanation of each of the layers in the diagram carries three marks so totally it is eight marks and next is a uh, module five uh, in first question you will be determining vehicular environment and then advantages and risk associated with healthcare iot and explanation of types of uh, machine learning in our choices hardware components and front-end design features and then explain challenges in machine learning then privacy and security whether it is important in healthcare iot you have to explain so getting inside the scheme architecture of fog fissure then you will be drawing the architecture of fog fissure which carries four marks and explanation in that architecture each of the components you have to you, you will be explaining which carries six marks and then 9b was advantages of healthcare so you will be list listing down all the real time advantages available where you will have three marks for it and you will be listing down the risk of healthcare iot you, iot used in healthcare so that will be for two marks and 9c was types of ml so you can uh, determine what is ml then that will be for one mark and you will be listing down the types of ml that will carry four marks not only listing down you will be explaining with examples and 10a is architecture of ambusense that is here you will have four layers you will draw the architecture which carries two marks and you will be explaining in detail which carries five marks and you will be uh, uh, mean explaining about the communi uh, communication model front end user interfaces features so when you explain all these that carries three marks 
and 10b is challenges in ml so here uh, just like that you can uh, tell uh, may maybe the starting line you can start with why ml is used and then come out with the challenges so list down the types of challenges in ml and when you explain it in detail it is for 5 marks and 10c compromising in privacy and security so you will be writing why you have to compromise in privacy and security uh, what is the need for compromising and why security and privacy all these are needed in detail when you keep on writing in a paragraph form it is totally of five marks so hope you have understood the uh, understood how you have to write the answers so that you will be getting all the required marks for that particular answers please be stay tuned for more information thank you